Hello and welcome back to another Blender 2.93 uh, tutorial. Yes, because Blender has also made another update, which is Blender 2. Point, uh, ver which is version of Blender 2.93.0. Uh, this is the last version of Blender 2.93. Uh, 2.9 uh, as bl uh, the next uh, uh, update of, uh, in Blender will be Blender 3.0 so yes uh, Blender 2.93 uh, has got a lot of uh, new features and updated old ones uh, like this schism over here it looks different but I'm not going to speak about that today uh, I am going to show you how uh, to uh, model something using an image. So first of all, I'm going to show you how to import an image. Go over here to Add an Image Reference and Downloads and Okay, uh, so I'm going to enter this image which is uh, wait a, minute, a Tesla Roadster image uh, inside you the angle of uh, the angle so the camera uh, that uh, the picture is taken from the side view of the Roadster and this has been done on purpose first of all let me set every rotation to zero maybe this to 90 degrees and then this to 90 degrees as well and just let me drag it a little bit uh, over here and okay so now uh, now I'm going to show the cube again and yes let's start modeling it so first of all uh, I will drag the cube here as well and let's get started so first of all I will go over here to edit mode and add uh, an amount of cuts over here so that uh, I can select them and obviously move them and wait All right, no. so this is going to take a while uh, but it's going to but the final result is going to worth to be worth. Yeah. Okay, so now I'm positioning it. I'm positioning it correctly and scaling it as well because. Uh, like over here and now I'm going to use the x-ray tool which I have also used before and shift okay okay so let me scale this like, like this all right and now I will select these ver these vertices and take them a little bit like these are um, yes with. Okay, so uh, oh, I'm just, like, 
take all of these, drag them down over here so that the front glass is about correctly. And you can see that it looks a little bit more like the real thing. So you can see that comparing it to what it was before, which was just a cube. Okay, so I took this and turned it into this. That's some real progress, but there is still a lot of work we need to do. Uh, okay, so let me just now. I, what I want to do uh, is oh, no, wait. Let me adjust this a little bit. Right, and let me move these little towards uh, the wheel mm, yeah it's a uh, Tesla uh, wait and uh, there are going to be a lot of parts in this tutorial a tutorial about how to make a Tesla Roadster because these are the few basics and there are still a lot of things you don't know about how to make this but you can probably imagine what uh, most of this tutorial will be as the main idea is as you know that we will use the image so that we can create a realistic model but it needs detail and you will you, you may not want to make a, a Tesla Roadster but this we but this video with this tutorial will provide you with some information uh, about how to do it in case you want to and how to how to create another model from a uh, simple that's the main idea of uh, this tutorial and yes I guess you could call it a second tutorial a uh, uh, tutorial no a tutorial like another one that we have created to help you make it was um, sort of a robot I guess Yes, uh, well, yeah, you could call it a robot, okay? Uh, oh, wait, I forgot about this. Okay, you need to be really careful with the X ray tool because you might select vertices you don't want to select and this will that would create a that would cause a big problem. But uh, it means no, I want to add some cuts over here. Let me move these vertices 
now these vertices and an important note here uh, is that the more vertices you add to your mesh the more realistic your model will be eventually and it will be easier to adjust it and shape it to the shape you actually want it to be but if you want to select faces instead of vertices then you should probably remove the x-ray tool temporarily well I mean disable it Okay. Now let me make this a little smoother. And you can see that it is almost ready. The, the back. Uh, of the car is almost ready at least and let's select these faces nope uh, this face and move it now rotate it them using E together because otherwise uh, that would make a difference and I accidentally forgot to apply the x-ray tool so that caused problem that caused issues when I select vertices and that is why the x-ray tool is extremely important if you want to select vertices and not faces so yes now that I'm selecting faces again remove x-ray tool and I'm basically doing everything uh, all over again and that is because uh, I have already told you most of the things you need to know uh, so you, you probably uh, know how to continue from here on but if you actually want to create a Tesla model, uh, nope, uh, a Roadster, then you should probably move on to the next to the next part of this tutorial. Uh, yes, the next part where I'm going to be a little more specific about uh, details. So. Uh, Thank you very much for watching and yes, I, w I may see you next time in the uh, other part. Uh, goodbye.